What is going on? Cover one crew. Welcome back to the show. Hope everybody's great, man. The combine is started. We're going to start seeing drills right away. And I love it because it's exciting. It's some realm of football, like I've been saying through all my videos. So who are we talking about today? We got Will Anderson Jr. from the Alabama Crimson Tide. And we got a scouting report, man. He is uh, he's a dynamo. No kidding about that. Understandably why he should be potentially the top pick in this NFL draft. We'll see how the draft board does shake down. But Will Anderson Jr. is unreal when you start chopping up that film. There's a lot of things this man can't do. He does it almost all. So, I mean, it's, it's very, very good. So what do you say we dive into his scouting report and see how I grade him on this one? Let's go. So as I have morphed my scouting ability over the years, I tend to, you know, shy away from comparing players to NFL talent unless it's absolutely on point. I know a lot of individuals right now are kind of pegging Will Anderson to be another Von Miller-esque type of guy. But when you watch the film, it's not far off. He does a lot of things that Von Miller does, uh, you know, very similarly. And like I said, it was just a joy and a pleasure to dissect this film because he is that good. But let's start off with those measurables. He stands 6'4", 235. He is 21 years of age, played in 41 contests with the Roll Tide, Crimson Tide. 204 tackles. The tackles for loss almost at 60. 58.5. Just a machine, man. 34.5 sacks in his collegiate career. One interception, four pass breakups, and one forced fumble. Statistically speaking, he was one of the best at the position in college football throughout his time. So, I mean, right there off the bat, you're just going to look at statistical achievement. Will Anderson is definitely worth the price of admission, but there is so much more to this man's game that we can discuss. And let's talk about those pros. Good size and frame. I didn't put elite because he could stand to gain maybe another 10 pounds. Round it out. Put a little bit, you know, 10 more pounds of muscle, and I'm okay with it. You know, and he's going to build. He's only 21 years old. He's going to get in an NFL weight room, and he's going to definitely put on some muscle. But he does have good size that everybody covets from the position. I know 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six is more typical of the edge rushers, but 6'4", is definitely not undersized to me. And his frame is already put together. Just needs some more rounding out. The ceiling in his – I don't think he's met the ceiling in – his body uh, type just yet and I think he could definitely grow from here very athletic and good strength not great at this point but it's very good strength okay and I and I, it's it's one of these things that he's so athletic that it kind of masks the the lack of strength that some people say that he doesn't have and I think the strength is just fine there's no issues in how you see it how many times you see him even with one hand pushing off defenders and getting to the quarterback you see it more often than you don't so you can't uh, you know disrespect the strength in this man whatsoever because he definitely has that but I do believe the athletic ability the finesse ability is a lot better in him than the power ability at this point and that's no uh you know knock on his game it's just how he's put together and what he's uh, most comfortable doing fabulous absolutely gorgeous first step off the line that burst is crazy and he's gonna have offensive tackles in the NFL crying for mama because he can get after the quarterback he gets around that edge so fast with that first step and that burst it's just absolutely crazy. He's like a, a lightning bolt jet when he does it on the right, uh, when he steps on that right foot. It's just on the accelerators. I'm getting excited. I'm stumbling for my words because it's so good how fast he does get off on that first step. The dip and rip moves are unbelievable as well. The speed moves off the edge. He's just literally unstoppable. The, the left tackle has no shot at getting him whatsoever when he does that. It's it's just too good. The finesse and speed that he does possess, it's almost as if uh, offensive tackles, I've seen weaker offensive tackles against him. They didn't even stand a chance in hell to stop him when he does uh, perform that move extremely well. When he does have his hand in the dirt, the swim move to me is absolutely elite. It's a it's a package in his in his repertoire that I'm extremely uh, favorable on. You know, there's, there's many moves that he does possess 
but when his hand is in the dirt and he has to bolt off into the offensive uh, tackle, the swim move is absolutely elite. It's just great, man. No kidding about that. The arm slap exchange is good as well. So when you see the swim move isn't there and the, the offensive tackle is putting his arms out, he slaps those arms down and he's able to run around the offensive tackle. Extremely good as well. I, I The arm slap execution, it's just on point. It's, it's, it's pinpoint and it's very fast. And the offensive alignment are definitely going to struggle with that. And as they have in college, no kidding, man. He's got a great stutter step, like a little shuffle step running back style when he's, uh, you know, mixing things up up against the offensive tackle. It's very quick, but he does it with extreme uh, precision. Gets the offensive tackles a little bit off balance, and then he's able to keep going with his speed. It, he's, he's perfected a lot of these moves, these finesse moves, and I, and I like that about his game a lot. Is he a true power rusher? It's debatable, but I, I don't question the ability that he can't use force because he definitely has shown that on more than one occasion. But when you're talking about the swim moves, you're talking about the slapping of the hands, you're talking about the burst, and then you got the stutter step, it's a great uh, repertoire that he can mix up in game and get after the quarterback with ease. He does that very, very well. He's very sound versus the run. I've seen some scouts that suggest otherwise. He keeps contained and penetrates, so that's a positive for me. He's always getting in that backfield, so even if he's not making the play, he's at least giving his uh, teammates enough time to uh, you know clean up what he could not finish, and that's a positive. You always want penetration from your top-end guys, like a Von Miller, for example. He may not get all the sacks, but he's causing so much havoc in the backfield. Now the, the rest of the team can come after the quarterback or stop the running backs uh, versus the run. He does this very well versus the run. Yes, there is some cons when it comes to tackling. I will get into that as well. But I, I don't foresee this being a problem. I think it's a lot of coaching that he will get into. And a lot of these missed opportunities that he didn't have or did have, I mean, it's going to get cleaned up, but the fact that he penetrates uh, extremely well versus the run allows the rest of his team to come in and, and corral the running back or go after the quarterback. It's a definite big plus for me because he's occupying a lot of space on that side and he allows others to do the damage as well. It's very positive in that respect. High motor, relentless, disruptive, however you want to call it, man. I mean, the effort, the relentless effort. He does not quit on plays. I mean, we see, I read some reports. He's just, eff uh, uh, just dominant in the in the weight room his effort is always on point in everything he does this type of guy you want on your club he's not gonna give up on any play you gotta love that about a will anderson it's that good high motor is definite man i mean he just continues to go after the quarterback he continues to be active in the run game and he does not give up man strong rap tackle technique i do like that about his game a lot as well it's very much high-end technique ability when he does wrap up lower center of gravity around the hips brings them down he gets around the legs brings them down he's very sure when he's when he is there when it's when the opportunity does arise and he has you know one-on-one -on -one, he's making that tackle eight out of ten because he is that good look I mean how many times I say almost 60 uh tackles behind the line of scrimmage that doesn't come with a fluke man that that means he's after and he's wrapping up guys uh, majority of the time it's a, it's a very good thing to see no kidding man stat machine like I said tackle for loss monster always penetrating it's it's just littered all over his film he is that good will anderson is that good in that department for the cons everybody's got him even a stellar prospect a high-end potential number one overall pick like will anderson he has some cons as well they're not glaring cons, but everybody has something that you got to improve on. I think he is more finesse speed than power at this point, and that's totally fine. I'm not saying that he can't do it with the power because he absolutely can. I just think he's more uh, comfortable doing the speed and finesse over the power at this point, and that's totally fine because he's got more than enough strength to push off weaker offensive tackles and still get around with uh, with that power ability. But again, he, he adds 10, 12 pounds in an NFL weight room. He's going to build that muscle mass, and then that power is going to come with it as well. Some people say maybe that's going to take away from his speed. I don't think so, man. 10 to 12 pounds should not diminish the burst off the line, which makes him so explosive anyway. He could, like I said, could stand to gain some more muscle. He's just under the elite body frame, and that's fine. It's it's minuscule. It's nitpicky as well because he is such a talented prospect. You're just looking for something that he can improve on, and I'm not saying I'm searching for negatives, but, you know, he could stand to add, like I said, 10 to 12 pounds of muscle, and it would do him, uh, you know, glorious benefits in the NFL. No kidding. Good strength but he can get locked up uh, you know, if he's using the power moves. We've seen it. It doesn't happen often, but it does happen from time
time to time, and it's it's noticeable when it does happen that he's trying to use a power move. He does get locked up. The double teams they can be a problem at times if he is uh, you know getting locked up with the power moves. It is there, and it's not a massive concern. Some technique on the power moves improvement with coaching can definitely be there. Add some more muscle mass, and then you can understand how to use power over uh, speed and finesse when you have to use it. But I mean, again, it's it's nitpicky stuff that I'm doing here, man. I think he's better standing up than playing in the dirt. Is that necessarily a con or just a comment? I think it's more of a comment because he is better to me standing up than he is a uh, hand in the dirt. Does not preclude him from doing, uh, you know, putting his hand in the dirt, going after the quarterback or stopping the run. I think he's versatile that way enough that you can use him in both sections. He is uh, going with the linebacker group in the combine. So that uh, suggests a lot to me that he's more comfortable standing up than he is hand in the dirt anyway. So being the true edge guy, but I, I think for me, he is uh, more than likely standing up is going to be the benefit for him in the NFL. Continued te uh, technique refinement. Again, picky con, nitpicky. And I mean, it's just everybody needs to improve, man. You're never a polished 100% product when you're coming out of college, going into the pros. And this one, I mean, just the small little technique refinements, it's going to just elevate his game that much more. And he could potentially have a ceiling of someone like a Von Miller because we see how Von's uh, trajectory has gone in the NFL. Will Anderson is definitely well on his way to be in that, uh, uh, in that realm in regard as well. No kidding. This was the interesting one, okay? The missed tackle percentage isn't great. But I think this is a flawed statistic as well. I'm not going to tell you where I got it from because I don't want to bash the site. 19.3 on the missed tackles. I and mean, his rank was like 219 out of everybody at the position. It's, a, it's not great, man. When you're ranking at 219, when you're supposed to be the top pick in the NFL draft, and that's why I think some scouts, especially ones we've seen from NFL.com, are putting Will Anderson underneath in, uh, Jalen Carter for being the top pick in the draft. I think that one has a lot to do with it. Not only being you know locked up at times when he's using power moves and double teams are on him, the missed tackle percentage is what people are scared of, and I disagree. I think it's a flawed statistic. Even though he is missing the tackles at times, he is still creating that penetration that you do want and covet. It's pressures on the quarterback. The percentage percentages of pressures is in the 80s, high 80s for a Will Anderson. So you do get a lot of penetration. You get a lot of problems that he does create and allows his teammates to mop up the duties. It's a good thing. And I'm only putting it as a con because the stat is so bad. 19.3 is not great overall, but Overall, we got to say, even though, look, okay, so put it to this uh, perspective as well. If he ups that to like 35, 40% in a, a missed tackle rate, his tackles behind the line of scrimmage are going to be in like the 70s. So, I mean, okay, but it, it's, it's one of those things. If he understands his game, which I do believe he does, he's, his awareness is very good. He gets after the quarterback. He's always in the backfield. I think this one is only a benefit for him that it's so low at this point because he has something to strive to, and it's only going to make him that much better of a prospect. No kidding. So, again, it's a, take that one with a grain of salt because some of these stats are a little bit of an outlier to say you got to see the full body of work before you could say, 19.3, that's horrible. It, it comes with, uh, you know, comments to say otherwise. But for grading purposes... Man, this guy was uh, like off the charts good. I couldn't, I could not down him for much. So I give him an 86.2. It is a massive score. And I mean, okay, for one of the top picks in the NFL draft, it's no kidding for me. If I am the Chicago Bears and I cannot trade out of the first overall pick, I'm going Will Anderson. It's time to replace the Khalil Mack. And you you, 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 re, you uh, released everybody. You wanted to rebuild. You got a ton of salary cap room. Start on the positive. Keep Justin Fields and go get yourself excuse me, a Will Anderson Jr. because now you can start rebuilding that defense. You got rid of Roquan Smith. You got rid of, uh, like I said, Khalil Mack earlier, Robert Quinn, and they were just, you know, starting to, you know, flirt with the idea of rebuilding this team. Start with Will Anderson. You will not be, uh, regret it. He's got Chicago Bear written all over him. But nevertheless, Will Anderson, to me, I think is the top pick in the NFL draft as we sit today. I would I would highly likely take him over at Jalen Carter, especially now with all the uh, troubles he has on the uh, uh, off-field issues Jalen Carter has. I think Will Carter is a slam dunk number one pick in the NFL draft this year.
While I'm not suggesting the Chicago Bears can't trade out of the first overall pick and then the team uh, coveting Bryce Young or C.J. Stroud takes them at number one, totally fine. But if we're talking about highest ranked players in this NFL draft in 2023, Will Anderson has definitely got to be on the top of, uh, of the list for me. He's just too darn good. And any team that's going to get him, uh, get his services, they're going to be smiling from day one. He's a day one starter and he's going to pay dividends instantly on the field when he does suit up for that club. But nevertheless, as always, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, jump in those comments, do me that favor, hit that like button. And hit that subscribe button. Let's help me grow this channel just a little bit more because we're going to continue down this path the entire offseason. Got a lot of good stuff for y'all. But nevertheless, we'll see you next time. I am out.